We have got free entertainment for you at the Ottawa Metro Park Amphitheater. And joining us today, Chris Fetzer. She's the volunteer coordinator with the Johnny Appleseed Metro Park District. Tell us more. And you've been planning these these events for years, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, the first year I started with the park in 2010. They had already been going on before that. But as the amphitheater progressed and, you know, we got a band shell and we got the shade cover, mm -hmm. um, more and more people are coming now and finally figuring out, hey, there's something free to do on Saturday night. Right. And, and you try to bring a variety, too, mm -hmm. because whatever you like, it's going to happen sometime during the summertime, I feel. Right, right. Um, we've got family entertainment with, like, jugglers and puppeteers. We've got uh, maybe uh, for the older crowd, like... <laughs> we've got the 60s and 70s music, oh, yes. mm -hmm. and um, we've got some gospel this year, and contemporary and kind of a jazzy gospel. We've got, you know, I try to hit them all. <laughs> <laughs> Are there some that, like, you, you hear from people and they're like, will you please bring them back because we really yes. enjoyed them? Yes. Um, actually, I'm bringing a fellow back from um, the amphitheater from last year to our Apple Festival in September, Okay. Steve Madewell, and he has a bluesy, folky kind of style, and he's bringing his whole band this time, so he's, he's really good. Is it music that people like a lot, or it doesn't matter? I mean, it, like birds, well, puppets, because you bring puppets and, you know, animals? Yep. Uh, live animal acts seem to bring the most, because parents will bring their kids, and oh, okay. that's more families, which, you know, mm -hmm. four people come instead of, of two. <laughs> but, um, like the 60s Survivor Band that we had last year, people just had so much fun with that, so we... Everybody was singing and clapping their hands. I was just going to say, when you have bands, do people sing with them and, and mm -hmm. dance or anything like that? Or yep, it, it, we really do have a good time out there. Everything's relaxed. You bring your own chair if you want to sit out in the grass or bring a blanket. And some people now are bringing their uh, dinner out and eating oh, while neat. they're listening to music. Yeah. And it's just very relaxed and just the weather's been pretty good this year to us. So we're mm -hmm. going to take it. Well, it's it's... A way to enjoy the parks in a different way. Like if you have, you know, if you just camp or hike or whatever, check out the amphitheater because right. that's also part of what you guys do. Last weekend we had Nashville Crush for our big 50th anniversary celebration. And I don't know how many people said, I didn't even know this was out here. <laughs> so I made sure I passed around a lot of the amphitheater schedules that are on our website. And uh, a lot of people, I said, put them on your fridge. You know? Yeah, there you go. Put them exactly. On the yeah. Magnet. Well, let's talk about Nashville Crush was last week, but we got somebody coming this weekend. He's a local kid, too. Yeah, you can't have Liam Stolly without Lima because that's his name. It's yeah. Instagram. So, <laughs> anyways, he's coming this weekend. He just played at St. Gerard's and he's a uh, country. Well, and he goes country. to Nashville. I mean, I think that's where he lives now. Uh, he, so, he's he really does, popular. Mm -hmm. So, he lives in Nashville. He's written some songs, he sold some songs. But he's not at liberty to say who the song oh, is going to be performed too. by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? So he's, and then we've got the 60s survivors coming up. We've got Mr. Puppet coming up. Um, we have our standard, uh, the um, Dulcimer gals from, from Crydersville. Everybody likes them. They're always a lot of fun. Um, we've got Easy and Company finishing up the the amphitheater programs. Yeah, so yeah. that's the last Saturday mm -hmm. in what, August, August yep. 27th. You can just bank every Saturday in June, July, and August. We're going to have free performances out there mm -hmm. at the amphitheater. And what time did the show start? They always start at 7. Of course, last week started at 6, <laughs> but we had to get all those people in there. Yeah, sure. exactly. So come early or is it okay, you know, come oh. right at 7 or you want a good spot? Uh, there's plenty of space. Plenty of space. So you can come whenever you want. There's some people that come at 20 after 6. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, they want to enjoy it. It's free entertainment, and you got a great schedule. Thank you very right. much for coming today. Hey, thanks for having me, Holly. It's good to see you again. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the weather forecast after this.